You're watching BCTV. We're all about Brantford. You're watching BCTV, Brantford Government Television, a service of Brantford Community Television. This program is brought to you in part through the support of the Town of Brantford. All right. All right, we'll call the Board of Selectmen's meeting um, for, this is not a special meeting though, right? This no, is just right, yeah, mistake. mistake. So for September 1st, 2021 order, item one, to approve the Board of Selectmen minutes of August 4th, 2021 and August 12th, 2021, which was a special meeting. So moved. Seconded. It's been moved, seconded, edits, corrections, omissions. Um, actually, before we take a vote, you know what, I will just address, because we did get a correspondence regarding the, uh, the special meeting. So would you, dear Brantford Board of Selectmen, would you please explain to the public why an untelevised meeting of the Board of Selectmen was recently held in the basement of Town Hall and a number of animal shelter bids were suspiciously altered. It is asked that these bids and the reason for changing them be explained to the citizens at your next televised meeting, Wayne Cook. Um, <clears throat> so as we're voting on tonight is the minutes that, of that meeting. Uh, that meeting was, as stated, uh, did take place at Town Hall as oftentimes when we have special meetings uh, that have just lim very limited uh, agenda items. We all, when we call a special meeting, we'll have them at uh, usually Town Hall. Uh, they are publicly and properly noticed. Uh, actually, the public had members of the public did attend that meeting, um, and uh, it is the meeting is open, as I said, through the public, and minutes are posted. Uh, just for the request, though, no bids were altered. Uh, what the motions were in the order of business that night was to. Um, Waive some informalities with a number of bids, not only with the low bidders, but a number of respondents did not sign uh, a form that was required. So as allowed under the charter, we vote uh, or under the, in the code, but in the best interest of the, the board has the right to waive any informalities. That's what we did with those forms that had not been signed at the, at the submission of the bid, but has sent been signed prior to the awarding. As far as uh, there were, I think four items, uh, four bids that were uh, rejected and uh, the scope of work was awarded to other bidders for that. Um, again, this has all been posted on the agenda and in the minutes uh, that we are voting on. Uh, just to go over the one that had to do with the cleaning, uh, the, the, as explained by the town engineer, um, the uh, number of hours uh, that the uh, low, low bid had responded, it didn't have a sufficient number of hours, uh, then had since withdrawn their bid. Uh, the uh, doors and hardware, um, the, uh, that was that bid, the low bid submitted was proposing an alternate uh, a material that was not within the spec. The town deemed that they did not want to accept and very uh, and change from the what had been spec'd. Uh, therefore, um, that that bid was rejected, going to the uh, the second lowest bidder, and that was a difference of about four thousand five hundred twenty dollars. Uh, the siding uh, scope, which had, there was a low bid amount. There was four bidders on that. There was a low bid amount of 92,000. The second bidder, which ultimately was awarded was 298,000. There was a third bidder at 308,000. And then the fourth bidder was at, I believe just north of 400,000. Uh, the, uh, the low bidder uh, has missed a whole host of items, uh, as well as did per, was uh, submitting items that were not, once again, not in spec, um, but also missed a significant amount of work that was to fall under that bid package. Um, therefore, you could, that's what 
we created the discrepancy. They, uh, uh, we went with the second low, um, which, as you can see, as I mentioned, um, there was another, there was grouping there that showed that was an accurate uh, bid. And then um, the other one was the uh, uh, insulation. Um, and that was a difference of about $5,000. And uh, they weren't deemed to be a qualified bidder by the team. You may recall when we were going for the appropriation uh, for this project that the CM had mentioned, the construction manager has mentioned that when they go out for the bid, um, and we received, I think it was over 100 bids because it's broken, the project is broken down into various bid packages. Uh, they then go a bit, do a bid scope review, review all the bids that come in, uh, not only the low bids, they also then look at the high bids too to see if there was something that, that we had missed to ensure that the, uh, uh, everything is accounted for before they provide their guaranteed maximum price for the project, what they could deliver the project for. The numbers that we had utilized for that appropriation were the, the numbers that we had then awarded those contracts for. So there was no change for, uh, due to the appropriation that the Board of Finance and RTM have approved. It's within what was requested. With that, I believe it's been moved and second, and I think it's been adequately discussed. If there's no other uh, comments, all in favor say aye. 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 Thank you. Uh, item two, to consider an appropriate proof of request from Gary Zelensky, uh, uh, Supervisor of the Pub Department of Public Works, award the contract for catch basin cleaning to Shawvac in the amount of $21.50 per basin. Good evening. Um, yeah, I'd like to request a to waive bid. Uh, to issue purchase orders to Shawvac Services to perform catch basin cleaning. Um, Shawvac has always been uh, has been a vendor for of ours for several years and has always uh, provided us with competitive pricing, reliability, uh, and productivity. Um, Shawvac is also very familiar with this town our catch basins, our needs, um, and they will adjust their schedule to accommodate our needs. Um, after negotiating with Shawvac, they agreed to hold uh, their old price of $21.50 per basin. Um, that was opposed to their state bid on Krog for they actually came in at $22.10. Um, American Pipe, however, is the lowest on the crag at 2085, but they're not available till March, at least March of 22, 2022. Um, you know, to meet our MS4 requirements, uh, we need to do this yearly. And we, we stay up with it, we keep up with it. We have approximately 3,000 catch basins in town. Um, so we usually do about 1,500 in the fall and another 1,500 in the spring. And that's just, would like to stay with uh, Shawvac. Okay. Second. It's been moved, second. Any further discussion? Hearing on all in favor say aye. 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 Thank you. Okay. Thanks, Kerr. All right. Uh, item three, to consider for appropriate approval recommendation from Diana McCarthy Berkeley, Sustainability and Compliance Manager, and Selection Committee to award the contract for Municipal Solid Waste Materials and Recycling Consulting Services to RRT Design and Construction in the amount of 55742 Hi, Diana. Hi, good evening. Just go over the process and the scope of work. And Sure. Uh, good evening to everybody. This uh, study came out of the uh, Solid Waste, excuse me, Municipal Solid Waste Commission. Um, obviously, there's no uh, secret. We've had some headaches with our waste and recycling over the past few years. So it was uh, recommended by Jamie and others and the members of the commission to um, consider doing a study and evaluation of our whole process. Um, what's happening in town and try to make it a little more economic um, and ultimately just more effective. So uh, the commission 
put together an RFP, drafted a scope of work of what was uh, important not only to the town, but also what's coming down uh, the pipeline from the state, the Department of Energy and Environmental Protection. Um, we put out the RFP. We got six companies that came back with proposals, very interesting proposals. We didn't set a price for it because we wanted them to have the flexibility, the creativity to say, here are some ideas that can help the town address the, the hurdles that we've uh, been dealing with. Um, the first step was to just evaluate the proposals that came in and then create a short list of companies that we wanted to interview. So we went from six down to four. Uh, we interviewed the four companies and there was one clear, clear winner uh, that just really, really excelled their, their expertise, their leadership, their experience, not only in Connecticut, establishing MRFs, establishing recycling processing facilities. Um, they're, they're just out of Long Island Sound. They're still very actively involved in Connecticut. Um, and that was RRT. Uh, so the vote uh, amongst the selection committee members was unanimous. And um, that's, we're moving forward. We're bringing this proposal uh, with as a recommendation to the Board of Selectmen is something that the town should move forward with. Okay. Um, I, just a couple comments regarding this. I think uh, certainly Diana gave a pretty good overview. Uh, this is will be a comprehensive study. Uh, some of you may recall a number of years ago we had uh, gone, began the process of requesting funding to do a study to really look at um, uh, our collection process uh, that unfortunately, um, maybe not, I mean, it, was, it wasn't funded at the time. What's being proposed uh, today uh, is a, uh, a much more broader in scope, I feel, uh, than we were looking even at that time. This is really gonna be looking at our, uh, our, our you know, curbside collection, but also how we're, how we're putting it, what we're and how we're putting out at the curb, how it's collected, transportation, and ultimately uh, uh, where it's disposed right. or recycled, hopefully. Um, <laughs> so this is a pretty comprehensive study. I think it is important. I think the town has recognized that there's many challenges uh, within the uh, solid waste and recycling industry. Um, and I can tell you, the state of, for within the state of Connecticut, those challenges are only going to uh, become greater in the coming year. Uh, there's a lot of changes that are happening, not only within the industry, but with facilities that uh, uh, provide uh, services uh, to other municipalities, putting greater pressure on the facilities that we utilize. So I think it's timely. Um, I will say there's not, we're in, going through the process to uh, 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 get funding, so it still needs to go through the Board of Finance and RTM. Uh, we, the, the committee did go through uh, an RFP, uh, RFQ process, which meets our procurement uh, 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 ordinance. Um, however, since the Solid Waste Commission, which had delegated uh, this, this task to a selection committee as well as staff, um, they, they make recommendations to this body. So that's why it is before us. Uh, I think, you know, uh, pending, you know, funding, um, you know, we would enter into an agreement, but I want this, you know, it's important that this board uh, hears the, what's being proposed and uh, acts on it. I'll make a motion to move it. Check. Okay, it's been moved, seconded. Any further discussion? Hearing none. All in favor say aye. 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 All right, thank you, Diane. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, item four, to consider if appropriate approval request from Brian Devlin, superintendent, to waive the bid for the purchase of two pumps and award the contract to Carlson Systems in the amount of $19,916. Uh, good evening, everybody. Uh, <clears throat> at the Greenfield Pump Station, um, I, uh, the pumps there are 15 years old, and we've been having an issue with rags and uh, and plus uh, the development in the area. So what I did is I called New Haven. I shopped around. We 
they have pumps out ABS that are non-clogging pumps. This saves us for guys coming in to clean the pumps and everything. So these particular pumps will increase the pumping capacity by 30%, which is good. So we don't have to worry about larger pumps, a new force main. So it's a big savings on the town end. And uh, with the cost of the $19,916, $19, this would be for the two pumps, elbows and brackets. And then I also have a mission system in already to monitor the uh, increase of the pumping capacity of the new pumps for energy, for the savings for the town. So that's why I'm proposing uh, these two pumps. Okay. I'll move it. Moved. Seconded. Second. Any further discussion? Questions? All right. No. Thanks, Brian. Thanks, Brian. All in favor say aye. 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 Item five, uh, to hear a report from Brian Devlin, Superintendent Wastewater Treatment Facility concerning emergency work necessary to repair a collapsed gravity sewer line on Bradley Ave. Uh, yes, uh, uh, thank you. On July 30th, we had a uh, uh, gravity line that broke. It, uh, it had to be repaired, so I had emergency repair work. It, uh, the, the depth of the uh, pipe was down f uh, 12 feet, and they had to take the section out and repair it. The cost for the work was 12996 for the repair of the work, and that was done on July 30th by uh, the quality associates who used on the work. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll move it. Yes, yeah, yeah. so second. Move, yeah. second. second. Uh, any further discussion? Hearing on all favor say aye. Aye. Thank, Thank you. Brian. Thank you very Thanks, much. Brian. Take care. Okay, item six. Uh, to review and discuss a proposal received for mosaic printing, signage, and marketing services for website design. Um, so in our packets, we have a... Uh, uh, proposal by Mosaic to do a website design. Um, there, uh, there's different. Um, so I think it was uh, came out to being uh, was it just over five thousand? Oh, design investment two thousand. I'm sorry, two thousand nine hundred fifteen dollars uh, for. The, the, that's the design option, first one. Then there's uh, some additional work. Uh, which they provide a, a page option, seven pages website with copy and professional design. That's another thousand ninety, and then uh, some content development for five hundred dollars, and then uh, programming for nine hundred forty dollars. Uh, that is, give you a little background on this. The Economic Development Commission for a number of years, and again, this is going back. Uh, easily five years, if not more, have been uh, uh, looking to do a website. Um, they've actually uh, had uh, received some uh, funding, made some budget requests. They had previously, uh, several, I think it was back in 2017, actually issued an RFP uh, for, for uh, web, web design services. Um, at the time, they did... Uh, vote to engage uh, CERC for, it was um, $7,900 with, I think, then they recommended to go up to, with uh, up to $9,800. That project for several reasons, and I think just never got off the ground or it started, it had a lot of starts and stops, starts and stops. And I know there was some uh, frustration among the uh, commission members. Um, bringing this before you tonight as first election because one of the principles or the principle of Mosaic happens to also be a member of the EDC. So he had submitted a proposal, said put together a proposal. Uh, he had met with, uh, I met with them as, with, along with the uh, chairman of the EDC and our IT director, Deb Murdo, to review his proposal and the work uh, services that he provide. Um, although it's uh, under the bid threshold, um, uh, Mr. Canosa, who serves on the EDC, uh, did fill out a, a form, an ethics form, with the town clerk's office, submitted that, stating that he had submitted a proposal, uh, would be doing the work. Um, but I thought it was important, uh, really, for 
um, it to come before this body uh, for us to make the decision rather than the EDC to award a member, even to have him recuse himself. The fact that he sits on a board with these other members, I didn't want to put anybody in a situation uh, that you know uh, somebody may be critical of. Uh, and again, although it's below the bid threshold, I just thought it was important to go through this process and, the, and also for the transparency aspect of it. So, uh, as I said, um, and compared to what was looked at before in meeting with uh, uh, staff from Mosaic, uh, reviewing the proposal and looking at the work that they have done, uh, plus and keep in mind this is an in-town uh, business, uh, which I think is important as well, uh, I brought this forward before the board to consider. I don't know if there's any further discussion or if you need a motion, to, would you? Yeah, I think. It, no, I'll make I, a motion to go forward. Absolutely, right. second. All right, it's been moved, seconded. Uh, any further discussion, comments? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Thank you. <laughs> Item seven to consider an appropriate approval request for Friends of the Willoughby Wallace Memorial Library for exemption as permitted by section 115-3 of the Code of Town of Brantford and allow the serving of wine at an art exhibit on October 3rd, 2021. So moved. Second. Move second, discussion, hearing on all in favor say aye. 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 Item eight, green use, to consider and if appropriate, approve a request for, for the, from the September 11th committee for the use of the town green on Saturday, September 11th, 2021, beginning at 8.30 a.m. to hold the annual September 11th remembrance ceremony. Move it. Second. It's been moved, seconded. I just like to invite everybody in the community, if you're able to attend, this is the 20th anniversary of the September 11th. Uh, and this year uh, we will be having as stated on the green, um, but just welcome everybody's attendance in the community. All right, it's been moved, seconded, all in favor say aye. 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 To consider and if appropriate, approve a request from Diana McCarthy Berkery and the Tina Manorino for the use of the town green on September 9th, 16th, 13th, 30th, from 4.30 to 6.30 p.m. to hold a farmer's market. Move it. Second. Move, seconded. Uh, one thing I will say this, I had met with uh, those interested in holding this, uh, encouraged uh, them, and they agreed upon the importance of reaching out to our local farmers and vendors and support support them. So all in favor say aye. 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 Uh, item nine, appointment, Solid Waste Management Commission, Richard H. Rowe to fill a vacancy left by Sean Kelly, term to expire September 30th, 31st, 2023. Move it. Second. Move, second. At all in favor say aye. 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 Reappointments, Economic Development Commission, Elisa, uh, Elisa Waterman and John Leonard, uh, terms to expire July 31st, 2024. Move it. Second. Move, second. All in favor say aye. 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 Uh, I addressed the correspondence. I'm sorry. Any other business? Sorry, I didn't get you out of here before the downpours. <laughs> Take a motion to adjourn. <laughs> motion to adjourn. Second. Uh, all in favor say aye. 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 <laughs> this program was brought to you in part through the support of the Town of Brantford. Watch town meetings and other videos on demand at brantfordtv.org.